though there are lots of elephants, there's usually lots of dung. And where there's a lot of dung, there's always a dung beetle. With an average elephant eating about 200 kilograms per day, they produce a lot of dung. And this is like gold to a miner. This beetle is rolling his dung ball to a spot where he will bury it. It's quite a modest size, but large ones might weigh 50 times more than the beetle. Imagine pushing a three-ton truck without help. A dung beetle will travel far at the prospect of good dung, and when he arrives, the chances are he will not be alone. There may be 1,600 beetles on a single pile of elephant dung, and they can eat or bury or roll it all away in less than two hours. Time to get down and dirty and muck in with the rest. Competition is fierce and good bits of dung are fought over. With all the beetles, one common aim. to make the perfect dung ball. There are brood balls and food balls. Brood balls are usually smooth and get rolled away for burial. Food balls are usually rough and ready and can be buried on the spot to be savoured later. This finished one is being rolled home for an offering to his mate. Dung balls incite violence because a ball of dung is an investment in the future. It'll help pass on their genes so they fight for it. It's the wild west down here, or east, north or south, wherever there's a deposit of what all dung beetles crave and will fight for. Dung beetles are among the world's strongest animals for their size. This ball is much heavier than the beetle behind it. This beetle has a food ball made up from the nutritious dung and he's going to bury it. He works fast because what he has is a nugget of brown gold and it's coveted just as much as the real stuff. The sooner he can get it safely buried, the better. But too late, spotted by a hijacker. Too lazy to collect and roll his own dung, he steals others. Before the beetle realizes what's afoot, his ball has been pinched. But not without a fight. He stands on top of his ball and fiercely defends what is rightfully his. Finally, the attacker is thrown onto his back and sent fleeing. The beetle decides this is not a good spot and, despite the dangers around, leaves in search of a fairer life. Using the sun as his navigational marker, a dung beetle might push his ball 30 metres from the heap. And while the demolition gang's still hard at work, other dung beetles are further down the line. Behind closed doors, in the cool gloom of an underground chamber, a pair mate. It'll be a fairly swift process. Some dung beetles have several eggs. This pair will have just one. Back goes the male to join the gang. There could still be dung worth salvaging for another tunnel, another mate. His partner tidies up. Carefully, she pats the ball to harden it and make it smooth. 
It's a once in a year ball, maybe once in a life, and inside lies her solitary egg. So maybe a dung beetle can see much more in muck than just plain brown. Oh.